Every year, the mid-range smartphone segment becomes more and more competitive. Today, we'll be checking out two very competitive smartphones priced at around 20,000 pesos. The Nothing Phone 2A and the Samsung Galaxy A35. But aside from the price, they differ in specs and design. One has a louder, flashier design, literally, while the other looks more sedate. Under the hood, the Nothing Phone 2A sports a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro, while the Galaxy A35 uses a Samsung Exynos 1380 chipset. With that said, these two couldn't be any more different, but which one is the better choice? What up guys, Miguel here from Yugatech, and let's find out in this comparison video. First, we have to talk about the design of the phones themselves. If you prefer something louder and a phone that stands out, then the Nothing Phone 2A is definitely the one you should go for. It features a similar design to that of the Nothing Phone 1 and the Nothing Phone 2, with an exposed back panel, but this time more translucent than transparent. Either way, there's no doubt it will stand out whether you get it in black or white. But since this Nothing Phone 2A is somewhat of a budget version, you don't get the metallic frame or the glass rear panel. It also has fewer glyph LEDs at the back, only three to be exact. The rear camera is also located at the top center as opposed to the upper left corner. Nonetheless, it's a great looking phone. It's a non-curved design, but it still feels comfortable in hand with good button ergonomics. As for the Samsung Galaxy A35, you get the signature Samsung design language that we've all come to love and is similar to that of their flagship models. But compared to its predecessor, the Galaxy A34, there are a few changes. While the frame is still made out of plastic, it does look and feel premium enough. There's also a bit of a hump on the right side where the power button and volume rocker are situated. Compared to the Nothing Phone 2A, the Galaxy A35 is a lot more sedate with a minimalist back panel. Aside from the triple camera setup, the only other design cue is a subtle Samsung logo at the lower center. So, which phone looks better? Well, style is subjective, and honestly speaking, both phones look great. With that, we'll leave the choice to you. If you want something loud and stands out, then the Nothing Phone 2A will definitely have your attention. But if you want a more minimalist looking phone, then the Samsung Galaxy A35 might be your choice. While the phones are different in terms of design, the displays are somewhat similar. The Nothing Phone 2A and Samsung Galaxy A35 both use an AMOLED display and have a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. With that, you can expect beautiful vibrant colors and deep blacks from both of these panels. However, the 2A's panel features HDR10 Plus support, while the A35's panel can decode HDR10 and HDR10 Plus videos, but without certification, apps like Netflix won't natively deliver HDR content on the Galaxy A35. And from our experience, the Nothing Phone 2A beats the Galaxy A35's display in this regard. It obviously still isn't as great as the LTPO OLED of the Nothing Phone 2, but it's still pretty decent. The screen size of the 2A is a bit bigger too, measuring 6.7 inches, while the A35 has a smaller 6.6 inch display. And in terms of real world use and because of the HDR10 thing, the 2A also has a brighter display with a maximum of 1300 nits versus the 1000 nits on the A35. While the 1000 nits of the Galaxy A35 is still decent compared to other smartphones, having the extra 300 nits does help especially when you're out under the sun. In case you drop your phone, it's good to know that the screens on both phones are well protected. The 2A uses Corning Gorilla Glass 5 while the A35 features Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. So for the display section, we'll have to go with the Nothing Phone 2A. On paper and in real world use, you do have a nicer screen to work with. In terms of cameras, there is a big difference as well between the Nothing Phone 2A and the Samsung Galaxy A35. The 2A only comes with two rear cameras, while the A35 has three to work with. But does more sensors equal better photos? Well, not really in this case. The Samsung Galaxy A35 comes with a 50 megapixel main shooter with phase detection autofocus and optical image stabilization, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro sensor. On the Nothing Phone 2A, you also get a 50 megapixel main shooter with PDAF and OIS, while the other lens is also another 50 megapixel ultra wide. For selfies, the A35 has a 13 megapixel shooter, while the Nothing Phone 2A comes with a 32 megapixel camera. While the 2A does only have two cameras at the rear, they are both 50 megapixel shooters, and from the specs, they appear to be a carryover from the Nothing Phone 2. It takes great sharp photos all around with good detail. 
Although some guys here at Yugatech do find the photos a bit oversaturated, but it still looks nice overall. The quality does drop a bit when shooting at night, less sharp and you do notice the grain, but it's still pretty decent. In comparison, the A35 takes decent photos too, but it's not as great especially when you compare it to the 2A. They're not as noticeable when shooting in well-lit environments, but you can see the differences when photos are taken at night or in low light. And ultra-wide shots definitely look better on the Nothing Phone 2A compared to the Galaxy A35. From these photos, you'll notice they aren't as sharp as the 2A and the camera performance isn't as great. While it's still decent, the Nothing Phone 2A just blows past the Galaxy A35 in terms of photos. You'll find similar outputs for the videos of the two phones too. And we also share the same sentiments when it comes to video as well. So for cameras, you do have to leverage whether or not the macro sensor on the Galaxy A35 is worth having compared to just a more balanced uh, main and ultra wide sensor on the Nothing Phone 2A. So that's entirely up to you guys, but in general, they do take very usable, decent photos. And what we're comparing here, I mean, it's like as if we were grasping for straws at this point. Like I mentioned earlier, under the hood, the Nothing Phone 2A is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro, which is a decent chipset that's found in a bunch of smartphones in the market. In comparison, the Samsung Galaxy A35 uses a chipset released within the same month and year, the Exynos 1380, which does have a larger 5 nanometer core. To give you guys a better idea of how they perform through benchmark scores, check them out here. Both these scores are decent, but benchmark scores are one thing and real-world experience is another. In terms of real-world use, these two phones can easily handle day-to-day -day tasks without any issues whatsoever. They can easily play light games such as Mobile Legends and Call of Duty Mobile without much issues. But when playing graphic-intensive titles like Genshin Impact, the Galaxy A35 does have a harder time running the game on max graphics at 60 frames per second compared to the Nothing Phone 2A. However, the Nothing Phone 2A isn't perfect either. While it can run the game on max, just like the A35, it does suffer from heating issues which causes the game to slow down and have frame rate drops. But that does happen to the Nothing Phone 2A slower than on the A35. All things considered, we'll have to pick the Nothing Phone 2A here for its better benchmark scores. In terms of battery life, both the Nothing Phone 2A and the Samsung Galaxy A35 come with a 5000 mAh battery. For everyday use, they last a long time from our experience with each. Interestingly, the Nothing Phone 2A does last longer than the Galaxy A35 when compared in our PC Mark Work 3.0 battery test results. The 2A managed to last 17 hours and 34 minutes. In comparison, the Galaxy A35 only lasted 10 hours and 57 minutes via the test, which is 7 hours less than the Nothing Phone 2A. Not to mention, you have less downtime with the Nothing Phone 2A as well. It has a faster recharge speed at 45 watts versus the 25 watts of the Galaxy A35. In terms of connectivity, both phones have 5G support, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.3. So, which one to choose? With all things considered, the Nothing Phone 2A does have a clear advantage over the Samsung Galaxy A35. But another aspect of the Nothing Phone 2A is the price point. The Nothing Phone 2A starts at 18,990 pesos for the 8 plus 128 gig configuration, which is 2,000 pesos less than the Galaxy A35, which starts at 20,990 pesos for the 8 plus 256 gig variant. Granted, the A35 has a larger storage capacity, but there is a 12 plus 256 gig configuration of the Nothing Phone 2A, which is priced the same as the A35. Not to mention, you get more RAM too. With that, it's easy to see that the Nothing Phone 2A is the clear winner in this comparison. But you shouldn't leave out the Samsung Galaxy A35 either. It's still a decent phone nonetheless. And if you want something that looks sleeker, it's still a decent choice. Especially if you also prefer One UI. But another point of contention for the Samsung Galaxy A35, which we don't really uh, super go over in these comparison reviews, is software support. Samsung has promised the Galaxy A35 four years of OS updates and five years of security patches, while the Nothing Phone 2A gets three years of OS upgrades and four years of security updates. So if that's a big deal for you, you still might want to prefer the Galaxy A35 in that regard. But hey, what do you guys think of the Nothing Phone 2A against the Samsung Galaxy A35? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.
But if you found this video enjoyable, informative, or if it helped you make a purchasing decision, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com and follow us on our socials. That is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.